friends welcome back to beyond the horizon astronomy program there was a slight delay in presenting this 10th part of the program we sincerely apologize to the viewers for the unexpected delay occurred because of a long interval between 9th and 10th of this part we may review the past lesson little bit we have been discussing how astronomical activities alive in ancient india and we have discussed it from vedanga jyotisha ancient 1600 bc that is during vedic period then came the classic period of indian science and siddhanta period during the siddhanta period 18 siddhantas were composed Eighteen Siddhantas were composed after the conquest of Alexander during 300 BC in northwestern part of India. Greek and Roman astrology and predictive part of the astrology was introduced in India during the fifth century AD. The famous astronomer Aryabhata. was born his aryabhadiyam was a scientific work written in those period aryabhadiyam was written in true scientific spirit and laid the foundation stone of indian astronomy and then varaha vihara comes in 6th century ad he prepared sanja siddhantika out of this 18 siddhantas and accepted the predictive part of the astrology and prepared his text about the indian astrology called brihad jataka and this book is considered the bible of indian astrology in this test part or 10th part of beyond the horizon we have had three important astronomers who were legends in indian astronomy and mathematics let us examine who were these famous astronomers in india today we are examining part 10 of indian astronomy in this part we are actually trying to understand who are the great mathematicians of and astronomers in india one of them was brahmagupta brahmagupta work was actually in the 6th century ad before brahmagupta was varaha mihira he was the man who prepared the panja siddhantika out of 18 siddhantas now we will enquire first brahmagupta and then comes bhaskara 1 and bhaskara 2 in this part of the beyond the horizon the arab traveler and astronomer al biruni almost all the indians might have heard about his name came in india and stayed in india during 1000 ad he says Brahmagupta occupies an important place in the history of oriental culture. He taught astronomy to Arabs before they came to know about Ptolemy's work. References to his work Sindh Hind and Al Arkhand 
frequently occur in the arabic literature these are the translation of brahma spuda siddhanta of brahma gupta he generally regarded as the mathematician par excellence he insisted on observational verification and accuracy of the results in the right side you can see this is brahma spuda siddhanta the book written by brahma gupta brahma gupta according to his own statement was born in 598 ad he was a resident of billamala in gurjara desa rajasthan india during the chaude dynasty ruler vyagramukha he was a son of vishnu gupta another famous mathematician at the age of 30 years brahma gupta composed his famous work brahma spuda siddhanta book contained 24 chapters with 1008 verses greater part of this book is dedicated to astronomy you can see in the sub left side the book picture of the book is shown here mathematics algebra geometry trigonometry and algorithm later in his life he moved to ujjain ujjain was the one of the best place of astronomical studies that is in the place of avanti the major center for astronomy in india at the age of 67 he wrote his second work that is called khandaka adhyaya in karana paddhati for giving training to the student that was a textbook of astronomy the third and last work of brahma gupta was grahana karatnana after the death of brahma gupta his birthplace came under the rule of caliphate caliph al mansur 7 54 to 775 AD Caliph entertained Kanaka an Indian astrologer to his court who brought astronomical text of Brahma Gupta and that was translated into Arabic by Muhammad Al Fasari as Sindh Hind and Arkand the immediate outcome of this translation was spread of decimal numbers in arabic places actually this decimal numbers was invented in india by indian astronomers but that was carried out to arab countries later the arab mathematician al khwarizmi whose period was 800 to 850 ad wrote a text called al jalan wal tafriq bi ushal al hind that means addition and subtraction in indian arithmetic which later translated in latin language in 13th century as algorithm de numero indorum after brahma gupta we come to another famous mathematician of indian origin bhaskara one after brahma gupta we come to another famous mathematician of indian origin bhaskara one the first and foremost commentator of aryabhadiyam was of aryabhata was bhaskara one of 17th century AD. unfortunately he does not mentioned anything about his date and place 
or of his parents though he was the earliest exponent of aryabhata he was not his disciple based on the statement of baskara 1 in his commentary on aryabhadiyam the time lapsed since the beginning of present kalpa when 3720 years has elapsed after the beginning of kali yuga this corresponds to 629 ad in that way we can understand in which time he was living incidentally this happened exactly one year after brahma gupta wrote his work brahma spuda siddhanta in 628 ad the great stalwart of indian astronomy was contemporary of brahma gupta though belong to rival school of astronomy as regards his place baskara mentioned asmaga in several times in his work he was a follower of aryabhata school of astronomy and called aryabhadiyam as asmaga tantra as pointed out in the chapter 1 of aryabhadiyam the place asmaga is north of godavari river in india that place is called valabi or harukacha in 17th century 7th century ad when baskara lived it was the capital city of saurashtra the kingdom of buddhist learning he might have been an astronomer in the court of dhruva bhatta baskara is known to have composed three main works mahabaskariyam lagubaskariyam and aryabhadiyam bhashyam important of baskara's work was the greatest among the exponent of and followers of aryabhata school of astronomy according to his three works explain aryabhata's works in detail and also reflect the development of the subject till his time his first two works came to be regarded as ideal textbook of astronomy for centuries up to the end of 16th century in india india has rightly honored his this great astronomer mathematician of this country by naming the satellite as baskara 1 launched during 1979 work of baskara 1 have been well known in south india especially in kerala among astronomers for centuries it is in the kerala the works of baskara 1 with the commentaries of govind swami shankara narayanan and parameshwara exist however after some centuries for the strange reasons bhaskara one went into oblivion in north india hesti cold brooks a european sanskrit scholar in 1817 rightly guessed the existence of bhaskara one through some reference by prithika swami another astronomer of india in his commentary on brahma spuda siddhanta of brahma gupta the major another astronomer is baskara 2 of 12th century ad baskara 2's famous work that is called siddhanta shiromani consists of four parts namely lilavadi bijaganidam grahaganidam and goladhyaya the first two is treated as the independent text deal with mathematics and last two with astronomy in 1183 at his 69th year of age 
ഭാസ്കരാചാര്യ കമ്പോസ്റ്റ് അനദർ സ്മോൾ വർക്ക് കോൾഡ് കരണ കുതൂഹലം ഭാസ്കര ഹാസ് കാൽക്കുലേറ്റഡ് അയനാംശ ദറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ എമൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് പ്രിസഷൻ ഓഫ് ഇക്കനോക്സ് ഹാസ് ലെവൻ ഡിഗ്രി ഫോർ ദ ഇയർ ഇലവൻ എയ്റ്റി ത്രീ ആസ് വി ടോൾ ദാറ്റ് ഭാസ്കരാചാര്യ ഹാസ് റിട്ടൺ ഈസ് ഫേമസ് വർക്ക് സിദ്ധാന്ത ശിരോമണി ഇൻ സിദ്ധാന്ത ശിരോമണി his popular text of siddhanta shiromani concludes in this way there is always wealth and prosperity to those around whose neck a chaste and pure lady called lilavadi belonging to respectable family endowed with good virtue throws her arms around this is his comment the last comment in lilavadi of vaskara 2 even to those who are congenitally allergic to mathematics and consider the subject as a big headache vaskara jayarya's greatness lies in making the mathematics highly irresistible and attractive according to vaskara his own statement he belonged to vidyata vidha near sakhyadri mountains born in 1114 ad his father maheshwara a saintly and scholarly person belonging to sadilya gotra this place vidyata vidha is presently called bijapur in karnataka the state of india a stone inscription was discovered at a place called patan southwest of chalis gaon maharashtra in which it was written that there was an astronomer called changadeva the grandson of bhaskara ii in the court of singhana of yadava dynasty Changadeva built a monastery to propagate Bhaskara's works. Nilavadi is an extremely popular text dealing with arithmetic, elementary algebra, geometry and mensuration. Bijaganitham is a treatise for an advanced algebra. The part of Grahaganitham and gola dhyaya in siddhanta shiromani is a completely devoted to computation of planetary moments eclipses and rationals of spherical astronomy in graha ganitam bhaskara has extensively dealt with the determination of mean and true position of planets the three problem the need three prashna to time direction and place lunar and solar eclipses rising and setting conjunction of planets an account of large number instruments used in astronomy also given in yendra raja